It's Halloween Heartthrob. Please ignore my terrible hair. I needed to throw it up and get it out of my way. But this isn't what we're talking about. We're talking about the third installment of my new series, my doll customizing series. And two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, the number is fuzzy to me. I may, uh, I held a little poll contest for some of those who uh, saw. I had between male San uh, from Princess Mononoke, male Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, and male Maleficent. I honestly was getting ready and I already kind of started uh, spitballing ideas for Maleficent to win by a landslide. However, no one voted for Maleficent. I don't know if people just didn't, like, were tired of her, or she's too overdone, or they wanted to see something different from me. But, <laughs> male Esmeralda came in a very close second. However, the male, the gender-bent version of San won by a landslide. And I'm very, very surprised by that. Um, so I do have plans to do Esmeralda, definitely, or the gender-bent version of Esmeralda, um, uh, in the future, but because San won, he is the one who I worked on, and you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, do not understand how excited I am to show this to you, because I've been working on it, like, non-stop for the past couple of, I don't know, weeks, days, years. I really put my all in on this custom and I'm just so happy and so excited to show you guys. I have so much happiness in this doll and this doll gives so much of a presence on my little custom doll stand. So yeah. So before we get into the video, I would like to throw up another poll up there for you guys to vote on what custom you'd like me to do next. However, I will be continuing the gender bent customs uh, soon, but I do have a couple of other dolls that I need to start on and I'd really like to get those out of the way before we continue. So I'll try to do like one of my own personal ones, then a gender bent, then a personal. You know what I'm saying? Also, what I think I'm going to do because this is taking up a lot of my time, and I know my ball jointed doll people really want to see ball jointed doll stuff. So I think I'm going to be moving these videos to Friday. So I have a full week to work on them. Um, and they're not going to be guaranteed just for the simple fact of customs take a really long time. So I really want to make good stuff for you guys. So they won't be every single Friday and they won't be every single Wednesday. So, but they'll be on one of those two days. Check out the poll up there, um, which will either be my Dracula Untold uh, custom, Killer Frost custom, or uh, a third one that uh, I will be placing in the poll, whatever it may be. So yeah, please vote. And without further ado, Please enjoy the video. Starting off, I will be combing some yarn wefts into making a wig. Now there are plenty of other people who know how to do this a lot better than me. Now I'm showing you my progress on my face up, so I still haven't figured out how to set up um, a proper face up video thing, so I'm just showing you my progress. I'm not that great anyways, so. Moving right along, these are my materials. It's just Faber-Castell watercolors and uh, soft pastels and a kneaded eraser and a regular eraser. Here is the wig that I made. It is super soft, so soft, and I hot glued it so it doesn't look super great, but it did what, it, what I needed it to do. Now it's time for the clothes! Taking a model doll, I made some patterns, which for the shoes, which I'll be starting with, is just Trace's foot, make a rectangle, and then a U-shape. The pants pattern piece, which is this, I just traced one of uh, a pair of Barbie shorts and took it in a little bit. And the tank top piece, because San has a 
like white tank top that she pins over her dress. Um, and I decided to make shorts instead of a dress. And sans tank to, like tank top thing, I just decided to make a little bit more baggy and the lower cut. There I made a uh, part of the shoes, which I just sewed the U shape on the bottom, and now I took the long rectangle piece, sewed it uh, together, and then I sewed it to the top of the foot. Make sure you turn the base of the foot inside out before you sew on the rest of the boot. Now I'm cutting out the shirt piece. Uh, it was a little bit baggy, so what I did was I sewed the back closed, uh, so there's a seam up his back, and then I trimmed it, and then I trimmed the front of the shirt to make it a little bit more form-fitted, and I sewed it to the doll. Now I'm showing you the pants. The, this is where I took it in a whole lot um, for the butt, mostly everything else fit nicely, and I added Velcro and a... Uh, last minute, I decided to add a uh, waistband, which is just like a really long rectangle folded in half. I also tattered up the bottom of the pants too because San's dress is a little bit tattered, so I thought it looked really cool. Now I'm going to be putting on the arm straps. San has really thin straps, but I thought the bigger straps would make it look a little bit more masculine, and I just glued it straight to his arms so they wouldn't slide. Now I will be making the fur and mask pieces. If you would like to see how I made those, please check out my Patreon, where I'll have a slower, more in-depth tutorial. Now I've placed the wig on the doll, and now it's time to put his head back on because the clothes are all made. I took his wig off just to make it easier, and look, you have a basic sand doll. Now I'm going to cut and style the hair. I have no idea what I'm doing, so if it looks like I know what I'm doing, it's all a ruse. I'm just chopping away and hoping to the hair gods that I don't mess it up, and I feel like I did an okay job. I have a lot of footage of this. Now this, I took a thick, this is the little headband San has with the little silver dot, so I took some silver paint and painted a little dot with a toothpick onto a thick piece of ribbon, and then with a thinner piece of ribbon, I tied it to his head, hot glued the tie, cut off the edges, and glued the little cut circle onto the headband. The very last thing for the face up is putting Liquitex over the eyes and lips to give it a little bit more realistic look. On to the necklaces. I am mixing a sparkly opal and a bright blue with a little bit of glitter to make the dagger or arrowhead that Ashitaka's sister gives to him and then in turn he gives it to San. Now on to the teeth necklace, tooth necklace. Basically I just make a noodle and then I cut it up into small pieces and make a little point at the end. Don't forget to poke a hole in the top so you can thread it through on a necklace. Also the weapons will be included in the Patreon video. These are just little short clips of what you could be seeing. And there we go. I took a little piece of brown embroidery thread, put a needle on the end of it, and threaded the teeth and beads in between the teeth to make the necklace. Here is the dagger head, or arrowhead. Why do I keep saying dagger? And I wrapped some red, bright red embroidery thread, thread around it, and it looks really nice and contrasts very well. It's a nice pop of color. But I decided to do both necklaces because... I, I wanted to. Now I'm piercing my doll's ears to be able to do the earrings. Now the earrings don't really need a tutorial because they're white clay ovals with a poked hole in the top and you wrap wire around it and jam it in the ears. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Here is a little snippet of the mask. Now cover everything with Duraclear matte varnish and mix it with a little bit of water. 
to uh, not make to make sure everything's not so shiny. And here's another little clip of the mask tutorial that you could be watching. With the finishing details, your song custom is done. Thank you so so much for watching did you enjoy it as much as i did um so with son i really wanted to take extra care and really get all the details i had so many reference photos i looked at so many different um people's costumes like their own costumes i really wanted to make the weapons um i made both as you saw um i also want to do the two masks um, but I think I'll make the second one as well uh, for a patreon video I have to have special content on there but yeah I just oh, I love all the little pieces all the little details it really really helped you know my custom really come through and uh, yeah it just it makes I don't know something about it <sighs> It was like a spur of the moment, like, oh, okay, I guess I'm going to make this. And then I just kind of went all out. So again, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to vote. If you want to see how I made the mask and the fur piece, please check out my Patreon. It's super, super helpful for me. And also you get special special content and early and content early so you don't have to wait like another day or maybe I get the video edited like super quickly and you don't have to wait like a week. Also don't forget to check out my Etsy and all of my social media which are but not limited to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter which will be all posted down below and I'll see you in another video. Bye!